Hola cafeños, we're Cafe Con Leche Travels. My name is Travis. I'm David. And for this week's Extra Shot, we're gonna talk about why so many expats are falling in love with San Miguel de Allende. So let's go. Miguel is a small, incredibly charming city located about three and a half hours by car from Mexico City in central Mexico. For years, it's topped the best cities in the world's list for travelers, and today, roughly one in ten residents are foreigners. When we took a historical walking tour here recently, our guide mentioned that the history of foreigners' interest in San Miguel can be traced back to one man, a guy named Sterling Dickinson who stepped off the train here in 1937 and immediately fell in love with the village he found. What's inspiring about Sterling's story is from almost the moment he arrived, he began working to help contribute to the local community. He co-founded an art school and then worked to get it accredited in the States, which meant that after World War II, veterans could come study in San Miguel using their GI Bill funds. Many of them were just as charmed by the city as Sterling had been, and they either stayed or made frequent trips back, helping to spread San Miguel's appeal abroad. Dickinson didn't stop there. When he saw the children in the campos surrounding San Miguel in need of some basic supplies, he, along with a handful of other foreigners, started an organization to help bring shoes, books, and medical care to kids who needed it. The organization still exists today and serves thousands of kids every year. Over the years, more and more foreigners spread the word about San Miguel de Allende, and the city has grown into the international destination it is today. So that's how San Miguel de Allende has historically come to be home to so many expats. And now we wanted to give four reasons why we think San Miguel is still popular amongst expats in Mexico. And the first reason we think is because of its location. San Miguel de Allende is in central Mexico, close to Mexico City, close to Querétaro. Basically, it's easy to get to any other part of Mexico that you want to go to, the east coast, the west coast, and it's relatively simple to get here. Also, if you're a digital nomad, it's easy to work here because it's in a central time zone, so it makes it easier for you to be able to connect with clients on the east coast, the west coast, because you're right smack in the middle. The second reason is the weather. You've heard us talk about it. It is a dream come true. It is not hot. It's not cold. It's cool in the mornings, warm in the day, cool at night. And that is most people's dream. And it stays like this pretty much all year round. We did talk to some locals who were here during the rainy season and they said it wasn't that rainy, that it rains a little bit in the morning, a bit at night, and that's about it. The third reason is because it is so charming. If you've seen any pictures or video of San Miguel, you've noticed the cobblestone streets, the colorful facades, the old colonial architecture. It is like walking around a painting. Like we've said so many times to ourselves that it feels like we're in a postcard. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so it just draws so many people in because they keep it pristine here. You can really sense the community's pride in the rich history of this magical, magical town. And as always, we cannot say it enough as part of the charm the people. Everyone is so kind, so courteous, so inviting and welcoming into this city specifically. It just makes you feel right at home and like you want to stay here forever. Which is probably why so many expats have. <laughs> and the last reason is the culture and community. There are over a hundred nonprofit organizations to volunteer and be a part of, to give back, and to immerse yourself into this city. Feels like the expat community here from the limited time we've spent is super active and super engaged with the local community and we know that Sterling Dickinson was a huge part of that laying that foundation so many years ago which is really the best way to travel we think yeah we're not just traveling around taking from people but you're hopefully trying to give back and be a part of whatever community you're in yeah you're adding more than you're taking away if you're just traveling through San Miguel, one easy way to get involved is to go on the walking tour that is run by this great organization, which we will link below, that really helps kids and the community find health care. All the proceeds that you give to this tour goes directly to these children. It's a great way for you to give back while you're passing through. If you've spent time in San Miguel day and day, or you live here, let us know in the comments what your favorite thing about this place is, or other organizations and things that you've gotten involved in because we want to know and we will be back 
and we love sure. and we love helping everyone else get involved. So please leave those tips and those links below. We make extra shots like this video every Saturday. We have regular vlogs out every Thursday. So if you're not subscribed yet, hurry up and subscribe. We want you guys to be a part of our family, the Cafe Inyo crew, which is through our Patreon, which we'll link below as well, and that you can get exclusive content and more access to us. And your fellow Cafe Inyos. It's been an awesome and growing community that we love engaging with. So get in there. The whole time we've been sitting here, there's been this adorable dog playing fetch. And I want it. That's <laughs> so, reason number five. I was gonna say, <laughs> the dogs. The dogs of Mexico in general are on another level. <sighs> All right, here comes our tagline. Hasta luego. We'll see you next time.